my god! What is that? Intuition refers to a quick or immediate or ready insight without evident rational thought. According to Fishbin 1980, intuition is associated with common sense. While Aurobindo 2014 says that intuition is the ability to understand something instinctively without the need for conscious reasoning. For example, what would be the product of 378 plus 113 over 2? The answer would be around 200 plus. That would not be the exact number, but it is somehow accurate and mostly right, having solved it within seconds. process of establishing the validity of a statement by derivation from other statements in accordance with the principles of reasoning. Defines a statement to be true in a quantitative measure using logical reasoning. Shows a statement to be true using definitions, theorems, and postulates. What is the purpose of proof in mathematics? It's all about proving some certain statements that is based on deductive reasoning. A deductive reasoning is the process of reasoning from one or more statements to reach a logical conclusion. For the types of mathematical proofs, we included direct proof, indirect proof, and proof by induction with corresponding examples to further understand. Direct proof, meaning proving something by showing how it came to be. Example. Consecutive integers word problem. Two consecutive integers add up to 37. Find the integers in x plus x plus 1 is equals to 37. The answer is 18 and 19. Indirect proof, also known as proof by contradiction. It begins by the assuming the opposite of the statement that is to be proven. Example, QRM equation. 1 plus 1 would always be equal to 2, but would never be 3. If the equation 1 plus 1 can never suffice the value of 3 as the sum, unless we add another value to make it 3. Proof by induction or mathematical induction is more advanced method. This method can be used to establish statements for the set of all natural numbers. Step 1. Show it is true for the first one. Then step 2. Show that if any one is true, then the next one is true, then all are true. Example, 3 raised to n minus 1 multiple of 2 
Let's find out if the statement is true by doing the steps I've mentioned earlier. Step 1. Show it is true for n equals to 1. So 3 raised to 1 minus 1 is equal to 3 minus 1 is equal to 2. Yes, 2 is a multiple of 2 which means 3 raised to 1 minus 1 is true. For step 2, assume that n is equal to k. So that is 3 raised to n minus 1 is equal to 3 raised to the quantity of k minus 1 is a multiple of 2. Now, prove that it is true for n is equal to k plus 1. So 3 raised to the quantity of k minus 1 is equal to 3 raised to the quantity of k plus 1 minus 1 is equal to 3 raised to the quantity of k times 3 raised to 1 minus 1 is equal to 3 times 3 raised to the quantity of k minus 1 is equal to 2 times 3 raised to the quantity of k plus 3 raised to the quantity of k minus 1 and then they were both multiple of 2. Certainty is the quality of being certain or known, especially on the basis of evidence. The quality of being reliably true. Mathematical knowledge consists of those mathematical propositions that are objectively warranted as true or logically valid, hence can be claimed to be known. about certainty in mathematics. Certainty is a state of mind, not an objective measure of knowledge based on how convinced we are of validity or accuracy of knowledge rather than its actual validity or accuracy. Very certain but also wrong at the same time. Best example for certainty is probability. Probability is a numerical description of how likely an event is to occur or how likely it is that a proposition is true. Probability can be imagined in numerical basis such as 0 and 1. 0 indicates impossibility while 1 indicates certainty. The higher the probability of an event, the more likely it is that the event will occur.